Nice suit. But I'm spoken for. So am I. Look, Mad. Are you mad? Don't leave Mad. He's had a very bad day. Rex! I'm awfully sorry about that business with your father. Poor Rex. David, kill her. You have that effect on men. Should I call the police? Or will the Kramer Enterprises private security force do? Very nice. Don't you want to know why I'm here? No, because I'm not going to give you a job, David. No matter how many new suits you get. You like it, huh? It's my wedding suit. Oh, that is so tacky. You dragged out your old drag that you got married to Alex Olenovin. <laughs> Did that in a running suit. Not one of my finer moments, which is why I vowed to myself I would never make the same mistake twice. Oh. Guess what? Hmm. You're not getting a second chance here. And I don't care how many frown lines you get. I'm not going to have frown lines anymore. Because I'm going to have all the money I need. My wife is going to support me. <laughs> Alex doesn't have a cent. <laughs> You're not paying attention. Alex is my ex-wife. We're divorced. I'm talking about my new wife. Would you care to kiss the groom? <laughs> Look, I know that your daughter is in a world of pain. But... Tearing us apart is not going to fix that. I'm, you'd just be making the same mistake that I made. I chose Jared over you. No, Charlie. You wanted it both ways. That doesn't work. What, in this will? You don't get it. I cannot ignore what you did. I cannot ignore all the lies. I just can't. You see, because you didn't trust me, you did not believe in what we had. But you think it would have been fair for me to put you in the middle of it? Well, a lot fairer than lying, Charlie. Don't you know we could have worked this out? We could have sat the kids down and talked to them, and I would have gone to Clint, and we would have made a settlement. I know we could have. But you never gave me the chance. You're right. I was afraid. I was afraid that you'd pick up the phone and call the police. And I wouldn't have blamed you if you had, but I knew that Jared was depending on me. Do you realize that you ended up practically sacrificing your life? You almost died in the alley, Charlie. Right, and you saved me. And why did you do that? Why? You know why? What, no, because you wanted me to live. And I did. And I'm here. And I'm asking you. Please give me another chance. Forgive me. Let's try to start there. Please. Can you forgive me? Natalie, your tactics disgust me. But I guess we don't have a choice. So, yeah, we'll drop the charges in exchange. You tell us everything that you know. Deal. Now you're going to see it's, it's okay. You know, we're going to get through this. Well, I'm sure you'll get what you want. Whether or not the family makes it, that's another question. And you'll drop the uh, criminal charges? And the civil charges. What, do you want blood? You know exactly what I want. No charges, no revenge, no retribution. Fine. And I want it in writing. My word is not good enough. 